What is up everyone? I'm Matt from Cardfellows here with a new edition for you today and this is a cool one. I'm excited for this one. We're going to break a box of 1993 Topps Baseball and the get in here is one card and one card only. The Derek Jeter draft pick card. If we can get one, maybe two, that'll be awesome. If we can get a gold one, that'd be even better. We're looking for PSA 10s. They're going for about $400 to $500 at this point. This box cost me just over $100. Now, the reason I went and purchased this box on eBay was I was going through my old cards and I did not buy many of this year in 1993 Tops. I didn't buy many of these cards, but when I was looking through it, I found a Jeter. And so I was thinking to myself, I was like, gosh, if I could find it in my small batch of oh, uh, 93s, Maybe the cards were uh, more prominently displayed or in, in uh, pa put in packs, I should say. So I'm hoping that I at least get two, maybe three. And we're also looking for Ken Griffey Jr. cards, Nolan Ryan cards grade well uh, or sell well after they've been graded. Uh, Jeff Kent is going for about 50 if it's a PSA 10. So there's a handful of cards that we're looking for, but really when I crack into this box, I'm looking for one card and one card only, Derek Jeter. And like I said, gold card, it says uh, in every pack. So maybe we'll get a gold card from a all-star that we can turn into some, uh, some money on eBay. So without any further ado, let's get to cracking. Yeah, this is definitely, oh yeah, this is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, is there anything more beautiful than that right there? All right. So there's 36 of these. So I'm going to take these out of the box here. Let's so get that cello wrapper. Hopefully we don't have any cards on the back. I know somebody said uh, you can use a blow dryer to, <laughs> to potentially get, like if there's, a, let's say the Jeter card's on the back. And you can get a blow dryer to blow dry the uh, packaging off it. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'd have to look into that if that's the case. Okay, so let's move these cards. I got my box over here. 36 packs. I'm excited for this one, man. I've been sitting on these for a couple days. It's kind of as a burning a hole in my pocket or burning a hole in my collection, I should say. All right, here we go. Let's move this over here. I got my penny penny sleeves ready to go just in case I get that gear. All right, so. All right, it doesn't look too bad here. Nope, that bottom card is just fine. So this is the gear part that you don't want to pull these cards out without opening all the way. I know it's going to take a while, but maybe I could hit that. So there we go. Oh, look at that. First pack. First pack. Ken Griffey Jr. A little ding in the corner. Yeah, probably not going to put that one in the sleeve. Unfortunately. So, Juan Gonzalez. Rafi. Ryan Sandberg, that's a nice card. Ryan was always one of my favorites. I like that. All right, so there we go. So we got Griffey in the first pack. Yeah, not great condition, unfortunately. I'm trying to look at it a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's centered, it's nice, but. So we didn't get a draft pick that card, so, or that pack, so a little, a little upset that that's the case, but. It's okay. John Smoltz. Oh, I didn't even see who our gold card was in that one. Yeah. I see a gold card right here. And that one is Ruben Amaro. Put the gold card there. I'll go back into that pack. Here it is right here. Okay. Nobody I really know. Pitcher from the Padres. All right. Yeah, no draft picks yet, so maybe I was off. Maybe I'm wrong here. I thought draft picks would be more prominent, but they're not so far. Juan Guzman. Okay, so no draft picks yet. I saw a guy pull... Uh, you guys probably all saw it too if you're into sports cards like I am. 
guy who's opening a 1986 of the box with Jordan rookies, pulling three of them. My goodness, imagine that. Pulling the 86 Fleer and pulling the Jordan card. Oh my goodness. Three times. Pedro Astacio. All right, right now we're no draft picks. So maybe the draft picks. I'm going to look at the back here. The draft picks are. Uh, Numbered. I thought I was under the impression you get draft picks all the time. But again, that's me not knowing what I'm doing. Hopefully you can learn from me. And hopefully I can find one. Geronimo. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get here. Jody Reed. All right, boys and girls. Women, children, pets, animals. Let's see if we can get a uh, graphic card in here, huh? That'd be nice. I haven't gotten any. There's a Scott Livingstone. All right, so my theory was wrong that you know these things, these these cards or these packs would be filled with jeers. That's not the case, which is why people are selling these. Ramon Martinez, Butch Henry. Maybe this doesn't have draft picks. Maybe I got the wrong series. Maybe there's a series. Draft picks are in series two. Maybe that's their. Greg Maddox. It's a nice card. Look at the Kirby. The big back Kirby. I like that one. I'll keep that Kirby. All right. I think I'm getting hosed here. Maybe these cards don't have. Maybe this is. Maybe the draft picks are only in series two. If that's the case. That's I gotta go back and look. Oh, there we go. Jason Kendall. That's a nice draft pick card. All right, now we're starting to get some draft picks. We're in a good spot now. All right, who's this? Mike Maddox. All right, so there we go, guys. Draft picks do exist. Jason Kendall had a pretty good. Career. I don't think the card's worth anything, but Dan Serafini is a Twins fan. I know that didn't turn out to be anything. All right, so I Griffey, one of the Griffey cards right away, so that was awesome. Um, the unfortunate part was it was not in great shape. The question is, what do I do with all these common cards that I don't want? I've got so many cards. I'll give them away. Keep them. I mean, none of these guys in 1993. I think most of these guys' careers are old. I mean, they are. The majority of them. So it's like, how do you... Luis Gonzalez. Oops, sorry about that. All right, I 
don't know how many cards, I don't know how many packs in the opening, I haven't kept track, but it looks like I'm about halfway through. Two draft picks, so again, draft picks are not as prominent as maybe I thought they were. So, Corey Schneider, he's a good ball player. Rick Green, Preston Wilson, so you get some draft picks here and there. Eric Carroll with the old all-star rookie. That's what we're looking for right here with the Jeff Kent and the other draft picks. So when you get draft picks, here's <laughs> here's probably why I thought you get more draft picks is I had a lot of other draft picks in the in my pile of old 93s, and um, so I just assumed. But it looks like in each pack of one you get a couple. Mike Morgan. I like Omar Miskel. He's a good ball player. All right, friends. Here we go. This could be it. It's got a feeling. Oh, is it a feeling? It is a feeling. All right. Sid Bream. All my gold cards have been really bad. I mean, there's nobody. So maybe I'm going to get paid off with a nice gold Griffey. Nolan Ryan. Derek Jeter. Jeez. So. Mark McGuire. It's a cool card. Nearing gold guard. I've gotten three of these guys. Three of those. Man, oh man. Judging by it, I think we have about 20 packs left. So it's, you know, we still got plenty of, plenty of ops. Plenty of ops here, don't worry. I'm not losing faith. Don't you lose faith either. We'll get there. Mike Benjamin again, these cards. Frank Thomas is a nice card. It's got some value on the market. Let's see that one. Nice card. It's a good looking card. Yeah, I might take that one, take a closer look at that one. I think those cards are going for about 30 bucks right now. PSA 10, of course, not the not the uh, ungraded variety. All right, so we have no Jeff Kent's. I wonder if Jeff Kent's, I wonder if that was a traded card. No, it wasn't, because it had the, had the uh, rookie, all rookie cup, so. Yeah. That one. Boy, Caesar Hernandez. My goodness. Who are these guys? Who are these guys? All right. I know I've got multiples. Definitely you know, multiples of many players. So I think it's definitely possible that we could get multiple Jeters come up here. Let's hope so. I'm just moving, moving into, I don't want to say, like, jeez, oh, John Jaha. Oh, my goodness. Who are these people? All right, guys. Dan Plesak. I think I've gotten three Dan Plesaks. He's not good. I mean, I'm sure he was, but, like, as far as the card goes, like Griffey right there. Maybe this one's a little bit better shape. Oh yeah, it's a good looking card right there. Got the Sandberg card. Another Frank Thomas card. Yeah, you know, it's starting to come a little bit. Now if I can get one really solid Derek Jeter card, then this box is paid for. No question about it. But I have to get the Jeter card. That's what I'm gonna have to hustle for. You know, really push to get a good pack or a good uh, Dave Fleming. Okay, I haven't gotten this pack yet. Yeah. 
All right, you are not going to believe this, but Paulie Molitor. Boy, oh boy. Manager Paul. I haven't gotten his card, so this could be a this could be a new card or a new pack. Okay, here we go. I got about, let's see, six, 12, 13 packs left. Keep bumping the crank camera, I apologize. All right. Dave Fleming got him, Mickey Tenney got 15 Marquise Grissoms. Uh, it's fantastic if it was his rookie year and he was panned out to be a Derek Jeter type, but my goodness. All right, guys. We're getting down to about the 11th hour, a.k.a. the 11th pack. We don't have any of the Jeters, Kents, or anything. So, you know, Tops was a little bit more stingy, I guess, than, uh, than they had been in the past. Keep banging the camera. I apologize. So, Paulie O'Neill. Nice, nice card. I like Paulie. There's Todd Huntley. I haven't gotten that card yet. Larry Walker. Okay, this is a new pack, so that's good. Still don't have a Jeter. Still don't have a Jeter. I'm confident, though. I'm confident. The bottom packs are going to be our. That's going to be our calling right here. Gino Larkin. There we go. Okay. There's Todd. Todd. Oh, jeez. <laughs> These guys, my goodness. Sean Lowe and Todd Stevens. Neither of them are Derek Jeter. I don't even know who these guys are. They're like, they're, they're, they're Cleveland Indians of Major League. Like, who are these freaking guys? I don't know who freaking guys are. Unless you lived in the city where these guys played. Bip. I was like Bip Roberts. Steve. Oof. There's a draft pick right at the back. BJ Wallace. Haven't gotten him yet. So typically the draft picks, I'm going to open this one carefully, came with two in a pack. So we'll see if it's if there's one in there. I really like that Jeter card. I mean, it's a really nice looking card too. So, um, it's a card that I wanted. Reggie Sanders, he had a good career. Let's see, Cecil Fielder, gold. Finally, someone that I've heard of. Cal Ripken, nice card there. There it is, baby. The Derek Jeter card. It looks good too. I'm going to take a closer look at that one. So, it's in the BJ Wallace. It's with BJ Wallace. So, if we find a Wallace, we'll. Uh, We'll definitely uh, know that we have a Jeter. Boy, that one's pretty close to being good right there, boys. Girls, people. So that's my, uh, that's what I want. A little bit off center, a little bit from here, top. But the corners are solid. Surface looks good. I'd say that's for sure a nine. Maybe a 10, maybe a 10. There's a lot of 10s out there, so. You know, when the population's high, I have a feeling they're going to grade high or grade low. So, you know, that's, that was the card I wanted. That's the card I got. So, maybe on these final six, seven packs here, I got another one. That'd be kind of fun. Or a gold card, maybe, if somebody I've heard of. That'd be nice. Boy, these, look at the, like, Danny Tartable. Danny Tartable. The only reason I know Danny Tartable, I mean, I know who he is. He's a good ball player, but 
Seinfeld. Is that Danny Tartable? Yeah. Danny Tartable's. Hey, Dan. Doc Dan. Ooh, speaking of the Yankees, Don Mattingly. Always like Don Mattingly. One of the best pure hitters in ball. Charlie O'Brien. Boy, oh boy. You know what? One more of like the, the Jeter card here would be fantastic. That would make my day. Chad. There's that Don Mattingly card. That's a nice card. Mattingly. You know what? That Mattingly value. There's some value out there for Mattingly too. So, you know, I'm going to keep that one. You know, people still are attached to Mattingly. I don't know what it is about him, but people like him. I mean, he was he was the Yankee. I mean, he was the Yankee leader before Jeter, so I get that. Mickey Templeton, Butch. Can you tell I'm a little bit more excited now that I've pulled the Jeter? The pressure's off. A little more talkative. Another puck right there. Always like the puck. That's that's the bat. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. I'll grab it before we go. It's Kirby Puckett autograph bat in the background. Big Kirby guy. You know, there's a great story about Kirby Puckett. It's just like it was like a 95 degree day. You know, just sweltering heat, and uh, he's playing in the minor leagues. This is before he played with the Twins, and um, a scout was what there to watch his son play or something like that. And uh, all of a sudden, the scout noticed this one guy just running all over the place and diving for balls and everything. And it's like, man, this guy's giving him it his all. And that's how he got noticed, you know, how Puckett got noticed. He was just giving it his all when everybody else was kind of dogging it. In the summer heat, he was giving it all, and there he was. He ended up making it to the pros. So here's two golds in the same pack. So Ray Lankford, Pat Howell, two good ball players. Well, Ray Lankford was for a while. Here's Wade Boggs. Fun story about Wade Boggs. The dude always ate chicken before games. Chicken. All right, I'm down to my final three. Gosh, wouldn't that be cool if a Jeter card came out of this? <laughs> That'd be awesome, one of these three. Because I haven't had any doubles up on my, any of my draft picks, so I think I've gotten about 10 or 15 of them. The hardest part is keeping all these packs all over here. Ooh, Kenny Lofton. I didn't realize he was a Topps rookie. I'll give that one a whirl. A little off center, but uh, nice looking card. Turned out to be a good ball player. Who's this? Wally Whitehurst. All right, down to our final two here. Final two packs. How cool, how clutch would it be to have Jeter? That'd be, that'd be like a total Jeter move to be in the last pack. Like clutch. Just clutch, Jeter. Who's that? Willie Randolph. Nice ball player. Our gold cards haven't been very solid, I'll be honest. If you're looking for, for gold cards here, it's not, it's probably not going to be a good situation for you. I don't think they, uh, I think Tops knew what they were doing when they started making those gold cards. They're like, oh, let's put them on the real common guys and really, you know, limit the limit the uh, all stars. So, I mean, if you have an all star guy that's a gold, that's probably a good. That's probably a good card. I bet you the pop population is really low. I could see there's being some people who would, you know, uh, want to collect those gold cards. Um, I have a Griffey gold card from a different set that uh, yeah, might be worth something. I'll have to check that out, knowing that. I've gone through these, and Skeeter Barnes is my guy here. Moises Alou, that was a rookie. Frankie V, Lenny Webster. All right, guys, that is it. 36 in. So we got a bunch of draft picks here. Um, Eric Karos, I would say there. We didn't get the Jeff Kent one that I wanted. Um, we got our gold cards. I'm going to push those there because those are garbage. Um, got the draft pick cards here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then of course the Jita, the Jita card. That's the one we want right there. So um, we got the Griffey. I didn't pull the second Griffey out, did I? Oh, yeah, I did because it was at a bum. 
bum corner. Yeah, Kenny Loft in here. Moises Salou. A couple pockets. I like those pockets and Mattingly here. So, you know, when, all, when it's all said and done here, you know, this is this is a this is a fun box to open just because of some of the stars that are in it. But you know, any chance you can get a potential Derek Jeter rookie card in gem mint condition. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to get this one graded. Like I said, this is going for about four or five hundred dollars at uh, Gem Mint 10. So we'll see. We'll submit this one and get this one in there. I'll take a look at some of these other cards too. And I'll take, uh, you know, I, I know the Griffies are worth something. I know the Thomases are worth something. I just looked those up. You know, these are going for about 25, 30 Gem Mint. You know, Griffies are going for about 50. You know, 45 to 50 in Gem Mint. So I'll have to look and see if those. I didn't know Kenny uh, Kenny Lofton was in there. I didn't know Eric Carlos Moises Lou. So we'll look at that. But you know, again, this is what we were after. We got one. So for a box of tops 1993, you're looking to spend anywhere between 100 and 125 bucks. Um, but again, I got one Jeter. It looks like there might be a little bit of a. Let's see here. A little blue mark right there. I don't know if you can see it. A little printing mark, which is unfortunate. That might knock it down. You know, it might be a nine. But still, it's still going to pay for my box. And then if I get some of these, you're going to make a little bit of money. But again, this is the gamble that you you, you enjoy when it comes to when it comes to uh, you know card collecting. You're gonna you're gonna see and and touch these cards, and then you're gonna get some value out of them too. So um, that's what I think most people enjoy about the card collecting is the is is the thrill of opening. And so you know, for me, I mean, you heard my voice change when I got this. I mean, it was a sense of relief uh, first and foremost. So um, thanks for watching this. I had fun with this. I had this box sitting around for a couple days, and so uh, to finally be able to open it, and this is kind of my first break. Uh, since having a YouTube channel. So uh, thanks for sharing this journey with me. Um, I'm going to go through these cards and uh, see if anything else is, is it jumps out at me and then I'll maybe do another video of my 93 box that I'm going to submit for, uh, for, for PSA grading. So uh, again, thanks for spending your time with me. That's uh, the 1993 Topps Baseball Box Break. We got one Jeter and we got a couple other cards. So... Um, Tune in. We'll see what happens next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.